what's up everybody it's your boy mr ghana baby alias wonder maya yo maya yo wonder maya i'm back again with another video and today's video we're gonna compare two passport Charles, what, are, what passport are you gonna compare the american passport versus compared to the african passport but i know most people are going to say why am i comparing american passport with african passport um this is the situation that we live here in china even though we all blacks but i'm gonna compare african passports all african passport versus american passport the opportunities that you get here in china excluding south african passport but before we do we continue we need a shout out video you know you need yep. to give some people some shout out yes one of one of my favorite youtubers uh, is Loser Lawai. Loser Lawai. Many of you might know of Loser Lawai. Right, uh, his channel got, uh, it got deleted by, uh, by YouTube. Yeah. So if you guys want to uh, still connect with him, if you want to watch his videos, uh, subscribe to Winner Lawai. Yeah, I, 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 love, I love Loser Lawai so much, but unfortunately he lost is um, Luzo Lawai channel. So please, if you really love his videos, go to Rina Lawai. Rina Lawai. That is his new channel, Rina Lawai in China. So just go subscribe to that channel. Ratchet! China! Ratchet! <laughs> you know, we so, have to be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, we're going to start today's video. Um, first of all, you're going to start because you have the American passport and you're American. Yes. And I'm from Africa. I'm from Ghana. Okay. Um, so, um, Ghana, like yep. in Africa. So, what are you? What are we starting with? Um, the first point. So opportunities, right? Yeah, opportunities that opportunities. we get here in China. Benefits. The benefits. What are the benefits to having yeah. an American passport. With American passport. Uh, say Western uh, English speaking. Uh, so like yeah, we UK, maybe we UK. Uh huh. Uh, UK, Ireland. I guess. Uh, anyway, Australia, Canada. Australia, Australia, Canada. But we're talking in terms of black people, okay? Black Americans, they have the advantage over. Oh, but uh, Africans, Africans, yeah, yeah, here in China, like, uh, yeah. for me, I'm gonna start with, um, like, some jobs, you might be black in China, but, um, if you're from America, or you're from Canada, or you're from maybe Australia, or something, you have, like, opportunities you have like upper hand over we Africans using African passport so is there anything that do you agree with me or not uh, yes yes primarily in the education field okay uh, the large majority of foreigners uh, work in the education field as teachers uh, or in, in other uh, capacities but when it comes to the education, education field the Chinese government prioritizes uh, American passport holders, U.S. passport hold holders over African passport holders. Yeah, so if you have an American passport, you're going to have more and more advantages over an African brother, okay? This is how this is how it is here in China, okay? Yes, especially uh, now with the new regulation. Yeah, so yeah, and also and also Chinese people prefer Americans more than Africans, like, um, because they, they see... Because um, of money. <laughs> <laughs> Because of money. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> okay, so yeah. so if you have an American passport, my brother, if you're black, don't care whether you're black or not. But if you're not, if you have an American passport, kindly move to China, and you have a lot of opportunities waiting for you over here. All right. Secondly, um, we're gonna talk about secondly um, jobs for black people in terms of being an MC, being a DJ, also being a, how do you call it, um, a basket basketball, basketball coach, basketball trainer. <laughs> I, 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 in regards to those type of jobs, okay, kind of like the the you know kind of uh, mm. I don't know what type of you know short term jobs. Yeah, you know I think Africans and African Americans can kind of compete. Eat. They're okay. on par. Yeah, because those jobs usually don't require a uh, work visa, or the work visa might not stipulate that it has to be from um. an English speaking country because they're not yeah. like. English teaching jobs or yeah and, and, and like DJ don't yeah <laughs> don't, don't really give you a visa anyways so. so this kind of this kind of jobs you don't need to come from USA or you don't need to come from maybe any part of any English speaking country you need like whatever passport that you having if you qualify for the job if you're black like most of them prefer like black people for those jobs yeah, you know? yeah, most of them true. prefer black people so if you think you, you qualify for those jobs you want to be a DJ you want to be like an MC in a club or something you can just move to China and you're gonna ma make a lot of money because I know most of them who are making over 20,000 20, renminbi yeah. like in a month sometimes they pay them like a night because I hosted a wedding and I got paid like 2,000 renminbi for 15 minutes for 15 minutes for 15 minutes 
for 15 minutes for hosting Chinese wedding. Oh, so I was hosting. Okay, yeah. yeah, just hosting. So people like you can those jobs don't need like a American passport or maybe so, an African but passport of course, or something. You know, they, don't, they don't offer you. They don't offer you a visa. They don't. Yeah. Some other yeah. Visa. That that the working visa is going to be hard for you to yeah, get yeah, exactly. those kind of this thing. And yeah. Charles, like there's one thing that I'm always like thinking about getting Chinese girls. With, with African passport and American passport, how easier for you to get Chinese girls with your American passport? Well, uh, they, never <laughs> asked, they, never, they never asked for the passport. Okay. Right? They're, not, they're not like born agents. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, I think the Chinese women, they, uh, I mean, they, they will believe you, but obviously, like, um, you know, at first it's just about the looks and just yeah, like all that yeah. stuff. And, but if you want to get serious with them, then like, yeah, I mean, yeah. passport does matter because <laughs> uh, I don't want to get criticized for this. But many yeah, no. Chinese women are very materialistic. They want to move up. They want to move up society. The parents tell them. Marry a man who, can, you know, who makes a lot of money. Yeah, but so, it, yeah. what he, he doesn't want to be criticized. That's why he's yeah. beaten about a bush or something. But me, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it point blank to you because like if you come to China, you see a lot of Africans dating Chinese women. But if yeah. you find out like why are Chinese girls with them? Yeah, most of them lie to them that they lie, they're from yeah. they're from America. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a time I went to a place like there's this uh, my own African brother from Ghana. Like yeah. um, I, I met the guy and yeah. uh, the Chinese girl was like, "Are you also from America?" You know, my, my, my <laughs> you know because the guy told the girl that he's from America, so. Yeah. <laughs> I also have to lie. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, from yeah. America, and I go, wow, America is such a beautiful country. I would love to go to America someday. Yeah. That's how it is. Like, I would say that 80% of Africans dating 80%. Chinese. 80%. I'm, I'm not gonna like. I'm not. I'm not. Please, you, you, you know. You know. You, you, know you, you know what I'm saying is true. You know, you guys yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying is true. You I guys. I know that. Mm. that information. 80% of <laughs> Africans ignorance. dating Chinese women. Almost all of them. Yeah. Things that the guys are from America, yeah, yeah. you know, that, because I, I've done it before. I, I, I've, I've, I've done it before, so I know what I'm saying. I've lied to a Chinese girl that I'm from America, and that instance, she fell in love with me. She didn't care about yeah. how I look like or something. But the father, I told her I'm American. I, like I've used that to That's get okay. a lot of girls. Everybody you know. lies. From yeah. Oh yeah, you know, that, 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 player, so. <laughs> white dudes are like the white guys are like oh, I'm IT. I'm working. I work for Baidu. I'm IT. Like, oh. You know, so I, like American American passport has a lot of advantages over African passport, excluding uh, South African passport. Because sometimes when looking for a job, they will tell you that please take a photo of your 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 front page. Yes. When you take the picture, you show you, you show it to them. It's it's an African passport. Yes. They'll tell you you're sorry. Oh, okay. But um, I told you that I posted something. Like I posted a job. I want to, before I wanted to do this video. Um, I wrote like uh, there's a uh, website that you can apply jobs. I posted yeah. over there about like I use America, mm -hmm. you know. So I wrote I'm a black guy living in Beijing. I'm American. Blah American, blah blah blah. Yeah. So uh, before I wanted to do this, that's what I did. Like a lot of people, I got numerous of emails that they want to employ me. Mm. Numerous, they want to employ me, but I did not reply there because I'm not American. I was just trying to use this for this video, you know. Yeah. So later, I just um, deleted that and I, I wrote it again. The and yeah. the real one using Ghana, and ah, so yeah. today, nobody has ever called me, oh, yeah. nobody has ever sent me an email. So that's what I'm saying, like, um. An American write to schools, right? Yeah, usually to schools. Like yes. they, they will never write to you if you're from right. Africa. But if you're from South Africa, you are quite okay. Uh, if you're from, so from South Africa, you don't South have Africa. a problem. Yeah, South Africa. If you're South, South Africa, Africans here. Yeah. If you're from South Africa, you can move to China. You can also make a lot of money because your passport is much more powerful than somebody from Ghana or somebody from Tanzania or any other African country. So right. that is how it is. It's the truth. We, I'm just here to voice out the truth. I don't care about what people are gonna say. Um, so Charles, do you have anything to add or something? Uh, oh, oh, if you if you want to if you want to come to China, if you if you are from an English speaking country, there there are many opportunities. So it's much easier uh, to come. Uh, if you're not from an English speaking country, yeah, you know, maybe try out the business visa route, or maybe uh, you know just come come here on a tourist visa, see what happens. Maybe you get like an opportunity.
as far as maybe like being a basketball coach or maybe DJ or yeah. some entertainment or maybe being a translator yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, if you know Chinese, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you know, you know, you can always try your luck here. Come yeah. on towards Visa and see what happens. So. Yeah. So yeah. There, there are a lot of opportunities for black folks because uh, it just depends on where you are coming from and maybe sometimes how you look like to also matters. Your looks also matters here in China. So um, I'm not here. To criticize Chinese That's a good people, point. Yes. So yeah, like, you know, yeah, skin. yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here yeah. to criticize those, those are, Chinese yeah. people, but I'm here yeah. to tell you the truth that um, don't, don't be too sensitive. When you come here, when they said job description, they said blacks only, whites only. Just, just keep on, just keep on pushing because there are people who likes you, like yeah. who, who want to give you. Personal. Don't take it personal. Don't Look, personal. Look at, there are a lot of black folks who are too personal. Like they take, they are too sensitive. They take things like as soon as I don't understand. Know, it's just the culture. <laughs> yeah, it's like get it's Asia, Asia, image. Get used to it, my brother. Yeah, get yeah. used to it. And people are very nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Chinese people are really nice. Like yeah. just try to get used to them and know how to play your game. And you definitely yeah. make it here in China. So it's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Stay tuned. And please, if you really enjoyed this video, kindly like this video. Kindly leave a comment. And please, kindly share this video. We beg you. Subscribe. Please share this subscribe. video. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. I am Maya. Charles, you want to say I am, I am Charles. <laughs> <laughs>